However, the Ford 6000 CD stereo can automatically raise or lower the volume of your music depending on the speed of your vehicle. In this video, I'll explain why this feature is useful, how to turn it on and how to fine tune it to suit your needs. And all we need is a little bit of help from this toy Aston Martin. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Okay, here's why automatic volume control is useful on your Ford 6000 CD stereo. Imagine you're driving along at low speed. This means there's very little noise from the car's engine, the tires, and indeed the air rushing over the bodywork. You also have your music turned on, but it doesn't need to be particularly loud to hear it comfortably because there's very little background noise from the car itself. However, you now start driving at much higher speeds. This means there's much more noise from the engine, the tires and the wind rushing over the car. You therefore can no longer hear your music on the stereo because the volume is set low for much slower speeds. Now, you can of course manually turn the volume up to compensate for the extra background noise of driving quicker and then later on when the car slows, you can manually turn the music down again as there's less background noise and there's nothing wrong with that. However, automatic volume control means you haven't got to bother. It automates the process. So, how do we turn it on? So, the first thing to do is to turn the stereo on, which of course is this big knob here in the center and then wait for it to boot up, which it now has. And we now need to repeatedly press the menu button, which is down here, until we see AVC on the screen. Okay, are you ready? Menu, 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 menu again, once more, and again for luck. And there we have AVC off written on the screen, which confirms that at the moment, automatic volume control is turned off. So let's turn it on. To do so, press the right arrow, like so, and it now says plus one on the screen. And if we press the arrow again, it goes plus two, then plus three, plus four, and we can get all the way up to plus seven. Now, as you might expect, if you want to select a smaller number, you press the left arrow, so there's six, five, four, and we can get all the way back down to number one, and then one more click beyond that, and automatic volume control is off. Now, if you set the system to a low number, such as plus one or plus two, the volume of your music is only going to increase or decrease by a modest amount relative to the speed of your vehicle. In contrast, if you pick a higher number, such as plus six or plus seven, the volume is going to increase or decrease at a greater rate. So what I suggest you do to start with is pick, say, number four, something in the middle like that, and then press the menu button to enter it into the system. You can now drive around for a while and see how you get on with setting number four. If it suits you, fine, happy days. If not, you can go back in and pick a higher or lower number, or if you prefer, you can turn the feature off completely. So there you go. That's how to use the automatic volume control feature of a Ford 6000 CD stereo system. Now, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. I have plenty more interesting content coming up. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video? And I and this little Aston Martin will see you next time. Farewell.